touch real quick. <laughs> For those joining us, we'll do in-person questions first, and then those joining us on Zoom, please submit your question in the Q&A. Questions for Ryan or Treasure? You guys forced uh, 13 LSU turnovers tonight in your guys' first game. Uh, you only forced eight. What was the difference for your defense out there? Uh, we were just clicking on all cylinders. We were very aggressive from the jump, and we knew that we could, you know, with our pressure defensively, and we could uh, force a few turnovers, which would lead into easy buckets. I think there was like 90 seconds left in the third quarter there. They had trimmed the lead to nine, and, and Coach called a timeout, and you guys, it wasn't within less than double digits since then. Just when you think back to that timeout, what was said and discussed, and, and how did that shape the rest of the game? Who is your question directed to? Oh, both Ryan and Treasure, sorry. Ryan, if you'll go first, please, followed by Treasure. Uh, we basically just said, like, all right, let's lock in. Like, the game's not over yet. You never know what could happen with um, – that much time left in the game, and with them cutting the lead, like we knew we were losing focus, and we just had to regroup. Yeah, like Ryan said, we just had to lock in and keep doing what we was doing, and just play better D. Therese Walker, the Associated Press. For Ryan, uh, the way you all started that game, uh, at knocking down threes, uh, I think you had three there in a short period. Uh, were you just seeing the, the, uh, the, the, the hoop easily tonight? What was the key to you know, <laughs> getting that start, and, and how key was it to get that jump in this game? Uh, yeah, usually I don't have that much space to get my shot off, so when I see it, I'm taking it, um, and it was just going in tonight. Chantel Jennings with The Athletic Treasure. This question is for you. When Ryan is hitting shots like that, what does it do for the team, both from a mental perspective but also on the court? How much does things open up for the rest of you? I mean, you know, everybody tries to guard Ryan so she can't score, but obviously that don't work. But um, when Ryan's hitting her shots, we try to give it to her, let her keep shooting, and when everybody's on her, we just get open and knock down shots just like Ryan. Ryan, in the grand scheme of things, hitting that basket with one shoe on your foot probably wasn't the difference in the game. But at that moment, did you know, OK, I probably can't miss today? Yeah. Like, <laughs> OK, so my thought process is, like, if you lose a shoe, like, you know, socks don't have any grip. So if I don't shoot, we have to play a whole possession with one shoe. But if I shoot, like, it felt good. I was like, oh, yeah, that's in. I have time to put the shoe back on before we go back on defense. Ryan, we've seen you wear Blair's jersey the last couple of games, but today she was on the bench with it, and you were back in your usual number 10. I guess just, just went, what went through that decision, and, and do you plan on wearing the, the five anymore this year? Uh, yesterday I wore it because it was my close friend Terrence's last game um, at Kentucky against Mississippi State in the SEC tournament. So that really meant a lot to me. You know, I had to put it on one more time for him. Um, I don't know if I wear it again. I could, but I don't know. I'll talk to Blair. We, we talk about everything, so I get her consent before I just throw it on. You guys were, you know, for the second game in a row, celebrating out there when you're hitting shots, dancing after the win. How much do you think just like the positive energy is contributing to this run you guys are having? Treasure, if you'll go first, followed by Ryan. Um, when we celebrate, it brings a lot to us. Like. I would say it makes us play better, play harder, and continue our run. You know. <laughs> I mean, I would agree with Trace. Like, when we're, you know, high energy and, you know, just having fun, that's when the game's easier for us than whether when we're, like, like stressed out or just, like, trying to, you know, do specific things. So if we know we can, like, dance around and have fun, then it's like, oh, so we can just go out and, you know, continue this energy and keep this energy and, and use it to our advantage. For both of you guys as well, a month ago, you guys were two games below 500, two and eight in SEC, and, and nowhere near the tournament picture, and, and everything has changed since then, because you guys haven't lost since then. What do you, each of you think has been the biggest contributing factor for why that's been the case? Ryan? Um, I would say our confidence was definitely, you know, after we got, you know, back healthy and got everyone back, um, it was like, all right, like, it's go time, like, it's either we go to the tournament or we go to the tournament, and there was no other option than for us to start winning um, and just having fun with the game. 
Yeah, like what Ross said, um, I'm pretty sure we had a, a team meeting after our last loss when everybody was back and was like, we have to win, we have to play hard, we have to do the things we have to do to go to the tournament. And I think that's what transferred. Thank you, Ryan and Treasure. Thank you. Three days ago. Thank you. Questions for Coach? Kyra, I guess Treasure kind of mentioned it there. Just, I guess it would have been after the South Carolina game, you guys coming together and, and, and sorting things out. Um, as much as you're willing, I guess, just what went into that team meeting and why do you think that's translated so well to eight in a row and, and maybe the biggest win of the season right now? Well, you know, during that time, we were on a losing stretch. And even though we did not beat South Carolina, um, I felt our confidence grow in that game. And when we came back in the fourth quarter, I could physically see the confidence in us. And, you know, we just talked about it. From this point forward, this is what we need to do. We all need to hold ourselves accountable. Um, you know, the staff said, this is what we're going to bring. We went through each individual player. What are you going to bring? Um, and it's do or die right now. So it's either win or go home. And we don't want to finish the season like this. And I was confident in this team. I knew we had enough. You know, we were you know, down and out early due to injuries and different uh, reasons. Um, but this team is resilient. We didn't have any quit in us, so uh, we just continued to battle. Kyra, 21 points for Jada yesterday, just four today. To get wins with both of those situations, to win in such different ways, what does that tell you about this team and this roster? Um, next man up and that we can pick each other up. It's not just one person. Um, so Jada carried us yesterday. Um, you know, and what she did defensively today, we needed her, um, but we have talented scorers on this team, um, and uh, the depth has really helped us come, on, come a long way. Kyra, I asked Ryan and Treasure about this, but I guess like 90 seconds to go in the third quarter, they trimmed it to nine. You call the 30-second timeout. Dre gets a layup after that. I think you guys went to a zone and forced a, a violation shot clock. Just what went into that timeout, and how do you think that carried forward, switching things up and, and making sure they didn't get that close to the rest of the game? You know, LSU had went on a run. I thought we had lost our focus uh, defensively. We were giving up defensive assignments, offensive rebounds. Uh, they were driving the ball. So when I called the timeout, I just said, there's a lot of time left in this game. We have to refocus. What got us the lead was our defensive intensity. Um, and then I thought we started playing too slow um, offensively. So go downhill, make them defend the dribble drive, um, and then Dre scored layup. So yeah, it worked. Obviously, you don't know who you will be playing yet tomorrow. But when you look at tonight's game, is there anything you want to do differently by tomorrow night? Um, you know, as a coach, um, there's always room to grow. Um, you know, I thought we started standing offensively a little bit uh, in the third quarter. Um, but I'm proud of this team. Man, the resiliency, the toughness, the togetherness. They believe in each other. Um, and, you know, no matter who wins tomorrow, we have to do what we do best. And that's transition offense and uh, being relentless defensively. Robin Benton has really stepped up, especially on the defensive end. She yes. just seems so much peskier now, so many more seals. Her energy is through the roof. What have you seen out of Robin in the back half of the season? Now, that's the showtime. Her nickname is Show. She calls herself Prime Time. I call her Showtime. I just told her in the locker room, that's the showtime we're looking for. You know, she brings us another guard with athleticism um, that not only can score, but what she can bring on the defensive end, the energy. Um, and we need everything that she brought today. Kyra, Ryan uh, came up limping early and had to go to the bench, get retaped. Uh, the way she came back, uh, how worried were you when she came off the, the floor at that point? And how do you like the way she came on and just started knocking down shots? Well, I'm worried when any of them are limping. Uh, but when she came off, I asked her, was she OK? Um, and she was like, yes, I just tweaked my ankle. Um, let me go to the end of the bench, but I'm OK. So she, kept, she gave me the heads up that she was going to be OK. Um, and she's pretty tough. So um, for her at this juncture of her career, um, she's going back in the game if she's capable. So, um, but I'm glad. I thought she stepped up in a big way um, and got us started early, and we needed it. That's all we have tonight. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.